Hi guys! Welcome to my vlog! I am Nerling Magnolia Celis and today we'll be discussing about how geography affects the weather. Before we proceed to our topic, let's first define what is weather. According to study.com, weather is the state of the atmosphere at a particular moment in time, in terms of temperature, precipitation, and moisture. On science fiction shows, people sometimes have amazing powers to affect the weather. This is impossible in real life, but in real life, there are still things that affect the weather. One thing that affects the weather is the geography of an area. This includes the topography of the land, the latitude, vegetation cover, and the proximity of bodies of water to an area. After we know about what is weather, let's now go back to our topic which is about how geography affects the weather. So geography affects the weather in many ways. Let's go through this in more details. One thing that can affect weather is the topography of an area. This refers to the arrangement of natural and man-made features of an area. It can include mountains, rivers, or cities. Topographical features like mountains affect the weather mostly in the way that they direct air currents. For example, Air is forced to rise over mountains. Moist air will cool as it rises. And then the clouds release the water, causing precipitation like rain or snow. This is why one side of a mountain range, the side nearest the ocean, often gets more rain. The Earth's Latitude an area's latitude on the surface of the Earth also affects the weather because it changes the intensity of the sun's light that the area receives. This has a direct effect on the temperature. If you're at the equator, the sun is always high in the sky, and that concentrates the sun's rays making it hotter. Whereas at the North Pole and South Pole, the sun is always low in the sky and this causes the sun's rays to be spread out and diluted. The equator also doesn't have seasons that vary the weather. This is because the sun's height in the sky isn't much different during the year. Whether the earth is tilted towards the sun or away from the sun, the angle of the sun's rays is pretty consistent. Vegetation Vegetation can also affect the weather by the release of water vapor into the air during photosynthesis. The vapor alters surface energy flows and potentially leads to cloud formation. Clouds alter the amount of sunlight that can reach the earth, affecting the energy balance and in some areas can lead to precipitation. A large body of water directly affects weather patterns such as rainfall and temperatures. This is because of its higher heat capacity than land, meaning it takes more energy to warm and cool the temperature of water. Therefore, cities close to water tend to have a narrow range of temperatures throughout the year and they also tend to get a lot of rainfall. For a deep understanding about how typographical features affect the weather, please see Ms. Sabi's vlog which is also available in this channel. So that will be all guys. Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to hit like, share, and subscribe. And please also turn on your post notification for more educational vlogs about meteorology. Thank you. Bye.